Hello chemistry students, I've uh, got a percentage yield exam question, let's get started. Questions about percentage yield, particularly we've got some reactions of alcohols and you also need to review yield calculations. Comments are welcome, if you've got any questions or you'd like to request future videos on particular questions or topics, the format for these videos, black text is the question, blue uh, the model answer, and red any additional information. Pause the video, read the question, have a go, press play when you're ready for the answer. Welcome back. I've just uh, edited the question slightly to make it a little bit shorter. Um, first off, let's start off with a balanced equation. The alcohol under acidic conditions makes the alkene with water. It's a dehydration reaction. One mole of the alcohol gives us one mole of the alkene. We can work out the amount of substances by using mass over molar mass. The amount of the alkene that you would get theoretically is the same as that of the alcohol because it's a one-to-one -one reaction. The amount of the alkene that you actually get is also equal to mass divided by molar mass. Um, because we've got the density of the cyclohexene, we can work out the mass by using density times by volume or rho v. And a percentage yield is uh, by the equation or given by the equation actual divided by theoretical multiplied by 100. You can either use amounts of substance in moles or you can use the uh, mass in grams as long as you're consistent. Just a word about showing you working out. We haven't got any numbers on the page there, uh, but already we can see that we've got all the formulas uh, and, and all of our quantities defined. That would be, in my opinion, to be very good practice. So the amount of alcohol is given to us by mass over molar mass, and we can put the numbers in from the question, 14.4 grams, and it quite kindly gave us the molar mass in the question. Works out to be 0.144 moles. The amount of the alkene that you would theoretically expect to get would be 0.144 moles, the same as that of the alcohol because it is a one-to-one -one reaction. The amount of the alkene I've given there is just mass over molar mass. As we discussed earlier, the mass comes from the density times by the volume. So we've got the numbers in there from the question. 4.15 centimetres cubed is the volume and the density of 0.810 grams per centimetre cubed. So all that's left is to put in these uh, theoretical and actual amounts into the percentage yield equation. You have to know that equation. It will not be given to you on a data sheet. All that remains now is to put the amount into the percentage yield equation. You will notice that one of the in-process uh, results did not round neatly to three significant figures. So I've included five significant figures to ensure that we don't get any rounding errors in process. The question required us to give our final answer to an appropriate number of significant figures. So this is the fewest number of significant figures of any of the variables given to us in the question. So the final answer must be two, three significant figures. So there's the calculation and that works out to be 28.5% to three significant figures. Don't forget any comments. Welcome if you need me to answer any questions or would like further videos on other topics or particular past paper questions. Thank you.